it's here it's finally fall so whether that means cuddling up in your favorite cozy sweatshirt whether that means sipping on your favorite warm beverage pumpkin spice latte anyone whether that means bobbing for apples at your local county fair on a local farm we have books that can match your child's interest as well i can't wait to share just a few of my family's fall favorites with you so in this book sheep decides to steal Farmer McDougal's tractor, and then all the other animals hop on and are making their own tractor sounds too. I'm turning the engine on. Bah! It's wiggling and jiggling. Purr. And the tractor is driving off down the lane. Gobble, 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 gobble. Our wind up and busy books are the perfect gift to give to kids because they can use their little finger movements for their fine motor skills. They can watch the tractor or the other types of toys zoom around the tracks. And then that opens up for them to be listening with their ears while you read the book. This book alone is going to provide hours of entertainment for your children. And this is a perfect thing to be able to teach your young child all about vocabulary or your older child all about spelling. So here's the pig and there is the word pig. Pig. Here they are again, Poppy and Sam, part of our Usborne Farmyard Tales collection. This time, Animal Sounds. We love these books because of the flat button that the children can press to hear the sounds that are on each page. Is a tale of two beasts where you get to hear the same story twice from the perspective of first the little girl and then of the wild beast inside. And she finds a little animal that she thinks she needs to rescue. Turns out little animal is a wild beast and actually doesn't need to be rescued. Then we get to hear the same story from his perspective when a terrible beast comes and takes him away and does all sorts of terrible things. He decides that he kind of likes the coziness that she has provided for fall and comes back to her after all. Fall just wouldn't be fall unless we talked about animals collecting their food stores for the winter. Here he is waking up from a nap when he realizes he can't remember what he did with his nut store. So he's going to slip in and out of all of the pages just like this until at the very end, luckily for Squirrel, he finally finds his nut pile in a big pile of leaves. Secrets of the Apple Tree is going to be the perfect addition to your fall collection because it follows the life cycle of an apple tree. So you can read here on the first page, an apple tree is green with leaves in the summer. Can you see what it looks like in the winter? Not until you use your flashlight on and shine it behind the pages of this book for a surprise to come to life. If you want to teach your children to have an attitude of gratitude, then the thank you dish is going to be the perfect addition for your fall favorites. Not only is it perfect for fall because of the gorgeous illustrations, the yellows, the oranges, the greens inside, it's going to teach your children to be thankful for the world around them. It was dinner time at Grace's place. Thanks to the rain, the soil, and the sunshine, said Mama. At the very end, I never knew there were so many thanks to give for just one dinner, said Mama. Well, I've got one more, said Grace. Thank you, Mama. This is Owl. You can get the adorable plush to go with this incredibly funny and interactive book. In it, you're going to have to have your children's help to get Owl to do all sorts of things for you, including just waking up to say hello. This is Owl. Owl, wake up. Owl, you're embarrassing me. This is not how we agreed to start the book. Try tickling Owl's tummy to wake Owl up. Oh, look, welcome to the world, baby Owl. Blow baby Owl a kiss to say hello. 